Jine is a traditional dance which is always danced on the 31st of October and it's got very ancient Celtic origins. It's uh, fairly straightforward. You're holding down a bit of an A chord at first and if you look through the first couple of bars, all your notes are held within that chord. You don't need the full A chord, you just need those two fingers of it. Now when you get to the third bar, it's not too bad for your left hand, you're just doing a little run down the strings, but it's quite tricky to keep the speed up with your right hand. So what you need to be aware of is the need to use walking fingers when you're crossing the strings. So try to alternate each finger in a walking pattern and start off with your index finger on the first note of the third bar. Remember, it doesn't matter what you do before that, but just make sure you've got that set up because when it's up to speed, it's quite tricky to cross strings unless you're alternating those fingers. So that's moving on from bar three to bar four. And then if you move through the rest of the tune, you've got in the ninth bar, you've got a bit of an A chord again. Hold it down as you did in the first section, but this time I would suggest you have your third finger ready to play on top. This is bar nine. Same sort of thing through to the end. I'll just play bar 13 to the end so that you get the little movement of that third finger up and down while you're holding a bit of an A chord. So this is bar 13 to the end of the line. And that's it really for the difficulties. I'll now play it through, just once through, at quite a slow tempo. So get your fingers ready on a bit of an A chord, just those first two fingers on that bit of an A chord, and then you're set up to play all the way through the first half. That's it.